So if you're wondering what we're doing, we're making a hold down device. Making four of them at a time here. This is a pegboard hold down device. It's for a class, that's why I'm making several of them here. The way this hold down device works is the holes are drilled at random and these are wood pegs, 3 8 diameter holes and 3 8 diameter wood pegs. And because the holes are drilled at random you can almost always find edges that will hold the piece solid. Uh, this is particularly handy for irregular shaped pieces. Irregular shaped pieces are particularly difficult to hold uh, because there's no straight sides on it and the pegs solve that problem. You can take, lift it up, you can do your little detail work, um, put it right back in place, get your chips cleaned off, a uh, little Christmas ornament like this here. You can turn it over to the other side put it back on the car of the back side also. So it's a uh, very handy device. Uh, they're very easy to make. The holes are drilled at random. You don't need to do a 3 8 diameter. You can do quarter inch diameter also. Another advantage is, is when your chisels hit against the peg, because the pegs are wooden, it will not dull your chisels. Now I'm making quite a few of these boards. I have a class coming up and uh, they're very easy to make. These boards are made out of uh, Formica. They have the uh, uh, MDF board in the inside and the Formica on the top and bottom. Uh, they drill a little bit better. They're a little nicer to use than making them out of plywood. I make a lot of them out of plywood, but the plywood, first of all, is rougher, but also the plywood chips out between the holes, and uh, it doesn't make the holes as stable as the Formica does on the top. And the Formica really doesn't uh, 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 dull the chisels down when you hit, uh, if you hit the Formica. I went to Menards to buy this Formica. Uh, it's shelving material. They uh, had some seconds on a pile, so a board like this here that makes uh, three pieces, uh, that's $1.99. So they're quite cheap to make. The wood dowels, you just cut the dowels to length, and uh, just take a long dowel, 3 8 wood dowel, and you just take it on your saw and just saw it off short little pieces. The way you use these boards, is you can clamp them down with C-clamps on the edges to the table, fasten them in a vise, just about any way to hold them down to your uh, uh, table, your workbench. You can make these any sizes. I have some small ones that I make when I'm traveling. Where the real value of this type of holder comes in is when you've got something that's a very irregular shape and delicate. Let me show you how this works. So you just start off by grabbing some pins, your dowels. You're just going to start placing them. You may uh, just try to line up as many holes as you can along the edge, especially where you need the support. Now it's starting to hold down pretty good. We need some on this side too. Uh, Maybe there to keep it from swinging out too far. Here would be another good spot for one. Now if you've got some holes that are partially covered, uh, you can take, see some of my pins have been hit with chisels and uh, carved down. Let's say this here hole here that you can only see a portion of it. Just whittle down the uh, peg tap it into place.
Now many times I have enough pins on it that I can remove one or two when I'm carving close to it. So uh, now you can take your chisels, push against it and it holds it in place pretty good. Especially if you have something that's kind of delicate. You can put more pins right in the area that uh, is delicate. But now you can put both hands on your tool. So that's where the value of this comes in.